Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. That's the place to go if you want that preppy streetwear. Just a little something you could dress outside of the box. Okay, today's episode is very important for content creators. Just everybody in general that is starting to see things for what it is nowadays with social media you see a lot of people especially in politics and a lot of these big companies people they lie in your face some people use it for promotion others just use it to get by or get more money or just deceive people i feel like there's more liars out there than buyers you have to really watch lying is like the language of demons even though we all do it is how we lie. Some people lie and their lies are so detrimental that it hurts so many people. So today let's jump into it and you guys are going to learn certain things you can take away that you can spot these liars and just the type of energy that they put out. Let's get it. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. You know what I really hate more than anything? Is the people that pretend to be kind human beings while doing evil behind people's backs. They want the perception of righteousness. They want the perception of being a good person because they don't want people to know the real them. They don't want people to know that they are truly fucking evil behind closed doors. They'll be kinder to strangers than they will be to the person that they say I love you to and look in the eyes. That's today's society and how sad is that? Me personally, I believe in God. And a lot of people today, they are their own gods. They do what is best for them at all fucking times. That is the sad society that we live in. Stay blessed, stay humble, stay up. I came across this powerful quote that really hit. It goes, fake people hate honesty. It's the lies that keep them feeling good about themselves and their lives. So share your true feelings about their actions Just and watch how they fade away. Sometimes all you need to do is just sit back, watch and observe people and they will show you exactly who they are without even saying a word to you. You will be surprised to find out how many of them are snakes in the grass. They smile in your face, but behind your back, they have the worst things to say about you. Some of them can't stand the best bone in your body, but they only stick around because of the anointing and blessings that come with you so that they feed off of your energy. And when I say this, I'm not only referring to your friends or co-workers, you know. Sometimes you are living with the biggest snake in your house. Our biggest downfall at times is that we talk too much. We love to announce to people when we are on to them. You don't need to announce anything to anyone. What you need to do is know where you stand with the person and act accordingly. No matter what they say or do, they won't be able to dim your light because a star will shine wherever it goes. Continue being great. I saw this quote the other day that said evil can pretend to be good and kind, but good and kind people cannot pretend to be evil. So when you see evil behavior in somebody, believe it. That is who they really are. And I think that could help a lot with the cognitive dissonance that you might experience when you're in a narcissistic relationship. That cruel, callous person that you saw, like that is the real them. That person that would manipulate you and gaslight you and they just didn't care when they hurt you. That's who they really were. And I really hope stuff like this, like it really grounds you in reality. Because I know for me, like I used to flip flop back and forth. Was he that cool, kind, funny person that I met or I thought I knew? Or that really just 
no empathy, void, cruel, cold person that I met towards the end of the relationship. That person that you met, that was the real person. And I know it's so hard to wrap your mind around that. Because the thing with abusers is that they're not abusive all the time. Sometimes they can seem like the best people you've ever met. But you know who else people said was the best person they ever met? Ted Bundy. Three signs of fake nice people I wish I'd learned sooner to save myself a lot of disappointment. One is that if they will gossip with you consistently, they will gossip about you. Nothing is safe with that sort of person. Nothing. Your tea is for the streets as soon as it gets in their head. They support you when it's beneficial to their interests and ghost you when you are no longer useful to them. I had people who would support my content, as an example, and as soon as I was no longer going to perform for their events for free, peace out, they ghosted and don't support anything I do anymore. Three is that they only speak in hyperbole about everything. Oh my God, I love, I love, I love your everything. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh, 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 that's amazing. Oh, oh, you're amazing. Oh wow, you're, you're just. All right, something that you might need to be reminded of is that people fake being kind all the time. Fake being kind, caring, good people all the time. People don't fake being evil and mean and hateful and all of those traits that a narcissist ends up showing their true colors of. So just remember that when people are not understanding or believing that this person could be evil behind closed doors when they're seeing this wonderful, caring person to the outside world. Because again, it's all looks to the narcissist, right? It's all how they look, their image on the outside. So people pretend that all the time to be kind and caring. People don't fake being evil and mean and a terrible person. So just keep that in mind. And this is for anybody else that needed to hear that. When someone is constantly trying to prove how nice they are, I'm a nice guy, I'm a nice girl. I just, I'm a nice person. I consider myself nice. 85% <laughs> of the time they're not that nice. Yo, if someone is doing this, they're probably a fake nice person. Our number one, they're super nice to people who have power or status and not so nice to people who don't have those things. There's a quote by famous German writer, Johann von Goethe, who says, you can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. Number two, they always talk bad about other people to you. Now, my own experience, just be careful with the information you share with these people because there's a good chance they're doing the same thing to you. Number three, I learned this from author Robert Greene, and if there's someone you suspect might secretly hate you or you think they might be a snake try approaching them from an angle like you're trying to surprise them lightly just like hey what's up and when they turn to look at you for a split second they'll have a micro expression on their face that they can't control that'll tell you how they feel about you so if they have a look of disdain or disgust and then suddenly the smile comes up you just caught them I you want to be aware of these people and you don't want to forgive these people is because they're testing their boundaries with you because at some point that niceness is going to stop the stop and their true colors are going to come out because they always do if they are not a naturally kind person a naturally giving person it's always going to show up it's always going to pop out and it's it's going to come eventually so you need to be able to recognize it and the best way to recognize it is time is this person consistent with their word? Is Does this person do what they say they're gonna do? Or are they doing something for a little bit, then get mad because they feel like you are not holding up your end of the bargain. And then they do a whole 180 on you and they turn into a whole different person. And then once you give them something that they want, then they go back to being like the nice girl, the nice guy or whatever. Stay away from those people. Those people will ruin your life and ruin whatever you got going on. They are. And another thing, when people are joking with you, believe them because there's no such thing as just a joke. All jokes are based on truth. That's how people really feel. So when people are joking with you, believe them. Take that for what it is. If it's envy, believe them. If it's if they're a hater, believe them. If they are he he ha ha trying to embarrass you in front of other people, um and disguising it as jokes believe them okay there's no such thing as a just playing joke like jokes are dark humor jokes tell you how people really feel and then they laugh it off so believe them and move accordingly okay that will save 
a lot of people, a lot of headache. May, it might save your life. Instead of pretending to be a good person, why don't you just be a good person? Let me run that back. So you spent all that time lying and manipulating and pretending, right? For that period, you were pretending to be a good person. Just keep doing that. Just why stop? What I could say, you guys got to be very careful and aware of who's who in these YouTube streets, especially in entertainment, because in hip hop, you'll see a lot of demons disguised as angels, and then you'll see some angels disguised as demons. So you got to know how to differentiate which ones and who is who, because you'll be following somebody and taking somebody's word and taking in their karma just because they're not even living the life that they're presenting to be. So you have to be very careful of how you share your energy and what energy you take in because a lot of these people, they're just here for the money. You know, you can't attach a price tag to wanting to heal people and help people. There's no price tag attached to it. The only thing that's attached to that is your heart. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.